Callan have just announced their latest limited edition bottling and it's in association with the James Bond franchise. And in this video, we're gonna talk about everything that's great and everything that's perhaps not so great about this release. So welcome back to the channel everyone. My name is Mark Littler. I'm a whiskey consultant, broker and market analyst. And if you like collecting and investing in bottles of whiskey, this is the channel for you. Now in this video, we're gonna talk all about the new Macallan James Bond release. And you know, it's, it's an interesting concept. It celebrates 60 years of James Bond. And there's six bottles in total, and each one reflects a different decade of James Bond. So there's a decade for the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s onwards, etc. They're 600 pounds a bottle, people. That's the first thing, we'll come back to that in a second. So it's gonna cost you 3,000 pounds if you want to collect a full set of these. So 600 pounds a bottle. And there's, there's some really good points about these whiskies. And to be honest with you, it's mostly related to the artwork that's on them. So each bottle has got a very small area of artwork on it, but it's beautifully done. They're illustrations from the various movies, you know, celebrating the various decades. The illustrations on the bottles are very tiny, but on the tubes, there's a full wraparound design on them. And the illustrations on here are really, you know, I love art, you know, and they really are beautiful illustrations. So that's a massive thumbs up, really beautiful presentation with the illustrations. The video that McAllen have got on their YouTube channel that, that brings these animations to light is also incredible. It, it's second to none. As a piece of artwork, as a piece of illustration, I absolutely love it. But that's really where my love for this series ends. Because the first thing that I'd say is that they're in tubes. Now, come on, this is 600 pound whiskey being released in a cardboard tube. The tubes are the cheapest release thing that you can ever get. You know, even the Macallan, even the Macallan 18 year old, and you say even the Macallan 18 year old, because that's only 300 pounds a bottle. So the, three, the, the 18 year old is 300 pounds a bottle for 18 year old whiskey. These James Bond releases are 600 pounds a bottle for no age statement whiskey. That's expensive. Look at the Macallan 12 year old. That comes in a beautiful box. The Macallan 18 year old comes in a beautiful box. Everything that's expensive and premium comes in a box. Why? Because, well, th there's a few reasons for this. And this comes back to a bit to sort of like the antique side of things. A tube doesn't display, it doesn't have as much frontal area as a flat surface. So if you were collecting these, if you were to line them all up, yeah, the, it's, it's going to be sort of, it's not going to be seamless. You know, if these had been released in square cardboard boxes or square fronted cardboard boxes, all six could have butted up against each other and made a scene all the way around them. A bit like the Macallan Decade set, the travel series, they're really nice. Those, they tell a story as a box, you can buy more, you can tell the whole story with them. So the tubes to me are just a bit cheapening. Now, it's, it's sort of somewhat irrelevant this because like if, you, if you're wanting to know whether you should go and buy these bottles as an investment, go, 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 click ballot, 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 now, 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 because these releases are gonna set the market on fire. And, and I think they've been designed to do just that. When you enter the ballot, so these are only available through ballot, through specific retailers, and through travel retail and the McCallum boutiques. So your chances of getting them are probably very slim. If you sign up to the ballot, they're probably only gonna allocate you one bottle. But who the hell wants one bottle? Nobody, you want the full set. So the, the secondary market, as soon as these is gonna have been released, it's gonna erupt with people trying to buy the full series of bottles, and quite rightly so. It's a series, you want to collect and display the series. Now, McAllen being McAllen, probably will release a small number at the start on ballot, maybe 10 or 20% of the allocation, so the, the market will kick off and erupt and go boom, 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 boom. And then maybe they'll stagger the releases of the remaining stock over the next sort of maybe 12 months. You know, it says in some of the press releases that they're not gonna be available in the US until 2023, but they're available in this country, in the UK, in sort of September, October time. Now, again, there's no problem with this. If it had sort of something more to it than just the artwork, because now that's, this is sort of where we get to the next disappointing part about this series to me, and that's the whiskey. Now, as soon as I heard about the James Bond Macallan release, I thought, 007, they're gonna do a seven-year-old whiskey. This is really cool. Macallan did seven-year-old whiskey specifically for the Italian market in the 1980s and 90s. The Italians like younger whiskey, and they produce this seven-year-old range of whiskey specifically for the Italian market. So I thought, you know, 007 as an age statement, awesome. This will be great. 
didn't happen. It's just no, no age statement whiskey. It says 007 on the bottle. Of course it does, it's marketing, but there's no age statement there. There's also, it's also the same whiskey in every single bottle across all the six decades. So my next thought was, right, well, surely they're gonna do something like they did with the Royal Marriages or the Private Eye and put a small amount of whiskey from each decade into each decade release. So you might have uh, uh, some 60s whiskey in the 60s uh, bottle, some 70s whiskey in the 70s bottle. Could even just be a teaspoon, but it would have given it more of a, given it more depth to the, to the series rather than just having the same whiskey across all six bottles. Now, you read the marketing gum from McAllen and I scratch my head then and I do, well timed because it does it did make me scratch my head because the McAllen's master distiller or master whiskey maker Kirstie and Campbell she said that the whiskey is designed to reflect the character of James Bond and I'll quote this a force of nature defined by his Scottish heritage he carries himself with modesty and humility say so, what James Bond being modest and humble yeah loyal yeah kick-ass but modest and humble I don't get it and I don't get how a whiskey can be modest and humble in character I think what's happening here is that it's no age statement whiskey because this is whiskey that's probably 80, 90% being distilled at the new distillery, which only opened in 2018, which means it's probably mostly three or four year old whiskey in there that's been top dressed with some older whiskeys to get it in, you know, to bring up the profile. There's no mention of sherry casks on the label either. You know, Macallan, one of the six pillars, you know, they're so proud of their casks. These, these sort of nineties bottles matured in sherry wood. Macallan are kings of sherry. And I can't see any association with sherry on the label. So it's probably sherry and bourbon casks that are on these. So again, like to me, unfortunately, the whiskey is sort of like the biggest miss of this entire series. It's like, it just doesn't back it up. And fair enough, you could justify the 600 pound price if it had a nice box and nice whiskey, but pff, just deflating me. So it's not just the bottle and the box or tube that's being released with this. There's a whole new section on the McAllen website called the McAllen in Cinema. And you know, it's celebrating obviously James, uh, James Bond's association with McAllen. And this is just even more tenuous to me because you know, why does James Bond drink McAllen? Because McAllen pay to place their product in James Bond movies. You know, if you go back to the early novels that, that James Bond was, uh, that, that Ian Fleming wrote, he's drinking blended whiskey in these, Canadian Club and Dimple and the like. And yet it's in the modern releases, after the books had stopped being published, that you start seeing McAllen featured. And this is just product placement people, you know, there's a, put something on the screen now, like movies are big for product placement. And, you know, to celebrate the fact that McAllen have sponsored James Bond movies, because they want to align their image with James Bond is, it's a bit thin, isn't it? You know, there's something to be said, and this is, this is maybe the subject for another video, maybe. Like, this industry has a problem. We only sell whiskey to approximately 50% of the population. Whiskey, it's majority consumed by men. That we are trying to readdress this, but it's mainly a man's drink. There's problems with sexism, sexism in the industry. This has been widely documented for a long time. And yes, James Bond has a, you know, he isn't just, doesn't just attract male viewers. Of course he attracts female viewers and things, but it's just entrenching this sort of like alpha male stereotype whiskey drinker. And is that good or bad? I don't know, but it's sort of like, if we, you know, if we want to become a more inclusive industry and attract more people, attract 50% of the population, we should try and do more things that are not just so like alpha male driven. But anyway, comments on that. What do you think? Get below and let me know what you think. Cause we are going to do something else on this subject as well. So following on from the sort of the celebration of McAllen in cinema, and there's going to be sort of screenings of James Bond at the Elkies estate. There's, there's sort of like another reference to the reason for this, this collaboration being, and, I, and again, I'll quote this. It says the McAllen is James Bond's whiskey of choice because mm, he's paid to. And as two renowned global brands, we share many synergies, most notably as modern innovators linked by our Scottish heritage. Yeah, you're, you're massive industries. Yeah, get that completely. You're both really good at what you do. I like watching James Bond movies. I like drinking McAllen whiskey. They're awesome. But then these connections are just a bit tenuous because James Bond wasn't Scottish at the start. His Scottish, you didn't have any Scottish roots at the start. The, the, the Scottish roots that James Bond has came as a result of Ian Fleming seeing Sean Connery knock the socks off playing James Bond and then wrote in some Scottish heritage into his obituary. So it, this is all being written and it's like, you know, James Bond's history has been written to adapt the narrative that best suits it. And maybe that's what's happened with this series and maybe why it's such a miss for me that 
there's just like they've tried to make a release in without that core ingredient you know the packaging and the whiskey now as much as i have issues with this release in terms of its quality in terms of its marketing and things like that i i it's going to knock everyone's socks off the market's going to go crazy so should you invest in them definitely am i going to invest in them if i can get them at retail price definitely are they going to go wild on the secondary market definitely will they slump after the initial release definitely so if you're buying these bottles people buy them and then either flip them in the very short term you know we saw that with the genesis and the peter blakes and things and the mccallan home that's just come out you see a big spike in price and then as more and more are going to come to the market i think we're going to see a big tail off in pricing probably a little bit like the game of thrones that came out you know they were an open-ended edition at the start people were selling sets for over a thousand pounds but as they realize that they're just being churned out and churned out and churned out and churned out it kind of stopped. Now, I think James Bond has got more appeal than Game of Thrones and it'll be more longer lasting, but I think these in terms of an investment strategy would be buy and flip or buy and hold for sort of five, 10 years time. I don't think there's gonna be middle ground on this. I can't see there being too much middle ground. The prices will peak, trough and then settle. So there we have it. It's the McAllen James Bond Decades Collection. What could have been one of the most awesome collaborations in whiskey history it has turned out to be just a collaboration. The market's going to go wild for them, so go and buy them, but also get in the comments below and let me know if you think I'm right or wrong about this and whether you're going to be buying a set.